you got to find what the problem is. There's always something stopping you when you meet the resistance. If he doesn't do that and he just lays here, and he, but he's, he's heavy on his head, drive in a little bit. Like he's heavy here, I still can't get up. But look, it's a lot easier to get up with this because his hip is low. So this right here is easy to finish the choke, okay? If his hip is high and he's bridging, you're gonna run into resistance because his hip's high. And he's got a lot of power with the leg. So when I'm here and I try to do this, it's not happening, see? They can bridge hard here, even if I try it. But look, take your butterfly hook, and now you're gonna remove his base. This is where all his power is. So look, boom. Now I'm up. I can even keep my foot here so I don't go anywhere, but now I have the choke and I can drop my hook back in. Or I don't even need the hook sometimes. I can take both hooks out and, or just shrimp back and get the movement, right? So you have to do that, adjust for who you're fighting. You know, who you're doing on. Different body types are gonna require little adjustments here. So here, you go for that first one, you're like, oh, his hip's too high, he's bridging too hard. Insert your hook right here. You're going to unroot his foot as I do this. Boom. Now I'm up. I can put, keep this foot here, drop my hook in, keep your chest close, then you do the choke. Make sense? So utilizing this butterfly hook right here is going to help you get the momentum. So it's like a kickstart, but you know, it's still that motion. We just are using the hook because his hips again are too high. So we can't get the right momentum to get up. So here, try, it's not working. Butterfly hook, lift. Finish. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, let's practice that. Three, two, one.